Hi everyone, this is Romy and her little niece. Um, we're trying to do a video of um, the garden. I'm going to try to um, shoot a video of the entire garden, but I'm going to um, upload it in different segments. Um, so getting started, this is the container area and um, everything's doing okay. I One of the cantaloupe plants is still here. I don't know if it's going to make it. Um, the... I sew it over here in the back, if you can see, and I'm shadowing it. But towards the back of this container, I sewed in some watermelon seeds. I had bought some um, sugar, sugar baby watermelon seeds, and a friend of mine from YouTube here, he sent me a few um, seeds for watermelons as well. Uh, there's a colorful kind, I can't remember what they're called, but those, are, those went in there also. So um, I'm going to have a mixture of different watermelons here. Then I'm going to be growing up this uh, fence, hopefully they do well. Um, everything else is doing really well. The eggplants are growing, which is really good. Um, and I have a bunch of ladybugs in the garden. Don't know if you can see right here. Because uh, I released 2,000 of them in my garden a couple of days ago. Um, everything else is doing good. There's a lot of blooms in the on the um, bell peppers that um, overwintered a bunch of them, and I'm actually looking forward to those actually coming up. Um, peppers that is <laughs> um, this container had I had um, put in the radishes and they're doing awesome we had a lot of rain the past three days and this morning as well so uh, everything's doing really good now that the sun's out I have a feeling that everything's gonna have like this goat's birth Ho hopefully everything just starts growing um, the bean the lonely bean plant is doing okay it's a uh, I'm getting the feeling this is not a bush bean <laughs> um, I actually sewed in some bush beans in this also, but nothing's come up. Look at all these ladybugs. Look, look. Ladybugs. You see all the ladybugs in? Yeah, they key. Right here. Ooh, down, down. But yeah, so um, they haven't come up. And I had gotten those seeds um, from a friend, and I don't know what's the deal with them. Um, none of them have come up. So if they don't, then I'll um, I'll probably just buy some bush beans from the nursery if I can and put them in here. Um, everything else here is doing great. Um, the fig plant, the fig tree is doing good. This is my cilantro that I put here yesterday. It sorry looking thing, but it see it's um it's going to flower. And the reason I planted this pretty late and I actually didn't even use any of it, um, but. The reason I'm letting it go to flower to see if I um, actually get some seeds from it. If not, whatever, you know, it's just, it was sitting by the kitchen. <laughs> what happened? Oh, it's okay, Baba. Um, so these seedlings are still sitting here. And uh, that's it for the container part here. I'm going to actually go to the main garden now and I'll show you guys how that is. Um, see you soon. Okay, we're in the main garden now. Everything here is doing really well. Um, things that have changed since my last update, which has been a while. Um, the Roma tomato has grown a lot. Um, a lot of new growth. And I'm really, really happy with that because I actually started those from seeds and I wasn't expecting it to actually make it. Um, the bitter melon, um, three of the plants survived, which is sad because I had, I think, seven. And the other four died. I do have one, um... But I still need to transplant, but I was waiting for the sun, the rain to get past so I could transplant it. I'm going to actually sow, direct sow some seeds and hope that um, within a few weeks they'll come up. Um, over here, the bok choy is still going to seed, a whole bunch of it. I'm actually waiting for them to go to seed so I can get some of the seeds from here. The carrots are doing okay. There's a whole bunch of bok choy coming up here, and I'm just letting it do its thing. I do have um, edamame in here as well, which is looking kind of droopy, and then there's a bean that popped up. I don't know. I'm getting all these volunteer beans coming up. <laughs> um, I sewed in, <coughs> excuse me, I direct sewed some of the um, the soybeans in here too, um, but they haven't come up yet. But then we've gotten so much rain, hopefully in the next week or so it'll come up. The tomato plants, uh, my early girl's doing good. This one's doing good. No buds yet. The onions are doing good. Um, I do actually have 
some peas. If you can see right there, I have about five or six peas in the two plants that I do have, which is good. There's still some flowers on it, so hopefully I'll get about ten pods and <laughs> I can save the seeds for my fall garden. Um, the yard long beans are struggling, but there are still a few plants up there. None of the seeds that I um, direct sowed have come in yet, so I'm hoping that they do. The early girl over here is doing fine as well. The lettuce is doing awesome in that corner. Um, you would think that by this time of the year, the lettuce here would start going to seed, but since the weather's been so weird, um, they're actually doing really, really good. Um, my first time growing lettuce, and I'm really happy with it. The cucumbers, however, um, are struggling still. Um, yeah, those little things are cucumber plants, and I don't think they're going to make it. I do have a few plants that I can transplant if things do go, um, don't go the way I want them to. My potatoes are doing awesome. This is the one in the bag. Um, it's doing really good. It's held up all the way. The one in the bucket is held up all the way also. Um, the cosmic purple um, carrots are doing wonderful. They've all grown big and luscious. It looks really pretty, I think. Um, the peppers are doing good. A lot of growth. Look at this one. This baby is tall. Um, uh, I pulled out a few garlics the other day, and they are so sad. I actually didn't even take a picture of it, but they're really sad looking. They're very small. On a sad side, remember that um, that black ornamental black pepper that I was so proud of? That I had one seed and it actually made it? Well, I don't know if it's going to survive. If you can't see that, I'm sorry, but the plant's... Um, there's no aphids on it, I checked, but it's dying. There's still, a, you know, a few buds coming out. But I'm really, really, really hoping that it makes it, like, you have no idea how much I'm hoping that it makes it. But, again, if it doesn't, there's always next season, right? Or next year for these. Um, my onions are doing okay. These are the ones that I'm using for, ch you know, as you know, clippings. These are the year old garlic that are going to that are really not doing much. Oh, these right here, these are, uh, this is a lettuce, a, bo um, a little thing of lettuce that I planted. Uh, I got this blend of seeds from eBay, and I actually got them for fall, but I wanted to give it a shot, so I sowed these in maybe a month ago, and they are so gorgeous. There's a, a really good blend of them. I don't know what the, what the, you know, different specifics are called, but this one looks like it's romaine. It looks and is doing really good, and I have one red leaf kind that I'm like really excited about. I'm gonna let all of these go to seed. I'm gonna, you know, keep, I keep clipping the sides. I've been using them in um, sandwiches and stuff, both the lettuce and the back uh, Simpson. But um, I'm gonna let all of them go to seed so I can have my own seeds, and I'm really excited about that. The purple plants are all growing, doing really wonderful. Um, let me show you guys the Puchilokia that is not growing at all, uh, but. It has had like a little bit of growth. I should, like right there. That's the Buchilokia. I'd be really shocked if I got some plant, um, actual fruit from this this year. Um, over here, let me show you guys. Um, these are plants I have here, and then I'll go back to the ones I was just shooting. Um, this is my early girl tomato, the one that, the biggest one. They're all planted together, but this one seems to be doing the best. And I have flowers. I have buds, a few, um, and hopefully a few tomatoes will be coming up soon. Um, okay, so let me show you how things are over here. This is a seedling area. I still have a few seedlings, which is sad. Um, end of May and I still have seedlings. So this is a Roma tomato, and I put this in a bigger pot. Um, I'm going to end up probably giving this to my sister or somebody else if not then I'll find a spot for it but these are the, my <laughs> my cucumber plants my the ones that uh, my if those cucumber plants don't make it I'll be going to and um these are actually looking a lot better than the ones I have in the ground sadly so um I'm really proud of these they have a bunch of new growth uh, I don't know if you saw that oh, sorry for being so close but they are doing really good, and I'll probably be transplanting these as soon as the weather starts getting into the 90s. I don't want to risk uh, losing these also. 
um, my seedlings of tomatoes that are just sitting here waiting for somebody to rescue them. Another potato plant growing in a bag that's doing okay also. My brandy wine, no pink brandy wine, um, is doing awesome. I love how the seeds, how the leaves are of these. Um, I've never grown tomatoes that have potato-like leaves. And I'm really excited about these. Um, okay, I'm going to actually go into the front now. And I will show you how everything is doing in front. I still have a few seedlings of my okra. But these are again are my backup. Uh, just in case things in front, the okra that I have in front, some of them don't make it, I can transplant these over there. So I will show you how things are in front. Be right back.